I don't know much about Nicki Minaj, except that I've liked a couple of her songs because I think they're appropriately audacious and I like it when the bass go badoom doom And that's pretty much the entirety of my understanding of music, really. Uh, when it goes badoom doom Anyway, Nicki Minaj got in trouble the other day and I want to talk about some very basic kinds of anti-vax um, advocacy and the reason why they're a problem. Uh, and then we'll get to the memes, okay? So, I'm go like, I don't know if this is normie bait or anything, but like, stick with me for a second. So Nicki Minaj tweeted this the other day. They want you to get vaccinated for the Met. They? Hmm, curious. If I get vaccinated, it won't be for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research. I'm working on that now. In the meantime, my loves be safe. Wear the mask with two strings that grips your head and face, not that loose one. Praying emoji, heart emoji. So on the surface of it, there's nothing really innocuous about this tweet. She's saying that if she gets vaccinated, it'll be for herself uh, and that she wants to do research on it. Ignore the Azan ratio down there, okay? And then she's advocating that you wear nice masks. So that's nice, isn't it? I'd like to take a moment to talk about the problem with doing your own research. In reality, doing research is awesome. Doing research is fantastic. Research is great. The issue is that do your own research is kind of a rallying cry for conspiracy theorists. You've probably heard this before, like it's been memefied to an extent, but like flat earthers, you know, they'll be like, yeah, they don't want you to know that actually NASA's in on it. There's an ice cap that circles the planet. Do your own research, like stuff like that, you know? The problem with stuff like that, the problem with do your own research is that in reality, if you did your research, you would have already been vaccinated. The issue is people who say do your own research are always insinuating that the research you should be looking at is the research which disagrees with the already accepted conclusion, like publicly, you know? And there's also kind of a fundamentally conspiratorial element to it. I mean, listen to how it sounds, right? You know, like, um, imagine you're talking about the assassination of JFK. Oh, yeah, you know, some people say JFK, you know, died uh, uh, through a shot to the head. Do your own research. Imagine if somebody said that to you. It'd be like, do my own re... What? Do my own re... To what? Or imagine if somebody said that to you about the Earth's, like, shape. With flat Earth stuff, you know? Like, oh, yeah, some people say the Earth is round. You know, whatever. Do your own research. Like, wait, what? What do you... What do you mean? Yeah, the moon landing. Yeah, you know, they say it's whatever they say. Some people do agree with some people don't agree. You know, do your own research. It's like, technically, there's nothing wrong with the statement. Doing your own research is a good thing. The reason why this sentiment is problematic is because it's usually a way of insinuating that the research that you should do should be contrarian to what you already know by default. Because people know by default that vaccines are like the accepted way of dealing with COVID, or that the earth is round, or that the moon landing happened. The statement, do your own research, is an implicit rejection of the narrative that is commonly accepted in favor of alternative research. See, nobody would ever need to say, do your own research, if they were referring to a commonly accepted belief that was already standard in human knowledge. It's never, do your own research on a thing everyone already agrees on. The implicit statement is that you should be doing alternative research. Because it, again, if you did your own research, the moon landing happened. If you did your own research, the world is spherical. If you did your own research, vaccines work. All of the research trends in that direction. But if you're primed to look for research which disagrees with the common normative values, then you might be led down bad roads. That's why conspiracy theorists always go that road. They know that if they just tell you all the bad info, you'll probably reject it. The point is to get you hooked on a couple of questions and then have you follow those questions down to their natural conclusions. Which is why if you ever talk to a group of conspiracy theorists, have you ever noticed, none of them agree on the same version of their story, you know? You can talk to a thousand people who believe in a round earth and they will tell you the same thing. It's a spherical earth. But you can talk to a thousand people who believe in a flat earth and you will get wildly different beliefs, wildly, massively, completely incompatible beliefs, but somehow they all agree with each other. The reason for that is because they know that their beliefs can't really stand up to the 
strict scrutiny that a coherent doctrine would require. If they were telling you everything, the earth is flat, we're surrounded by an ice cap, etc., etc., then they would be laying out a set of premises that could be rejected. Whereas, if they only bait you into doing your own decentralized research into alternative evidence, you will arrive at these conclusions organically, which means that not only is there some centralized thing to debunk, but it's more difficult to target your belief specifically. If you arrived at your positions through independent research, debunking the broader flat earth talking points might not change your mind because your understanding of flat earth might be different than the standard understanding of flat earth. Does that make sense? These are the reasons why the do your own research thing is commonly associated with conspiracism. It's interesting because in reality, do your own research is literally what academics tell other academics when they're interested in exploring a new subject. There's nothing wrong with doing your own research. It's the implicit bias thrown into the statement. Do research which confirms other biases. Do research which challenges what we already think is true. And that's exactly what Nicki Minaj is doing here. Because as we're about to find out, Nicki Minaj believes some wild shit about the vaccine, okay? Which I will take but a moment to find, because it's, you know, very funny. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married, now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision, not bullied. Now this is incredible. Absolutely spectacular. I'd scroll through the comments, but unfortunately they're full of that South Park episode. That Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend got an STD <laughs> and blamed it on the facts. <laughs> the vaccine? The vaccine does not cause swollen balls and impotence. I'm very sorry, okay? I have no idea what kind of anecdote through an anecdote bullshit is being fed here, but no, uh, the vaccine did not cause whatever is happening here. I don't know if uh, Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend is just a big fan of femdom and he got his balls popped by a, you know, by a mistress at a, at a club or if this is some STD thing or I have no idea what exactly. I, I, I don't know which series of, 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 of events took place to lead to this, but it was not the vaccine. And this is one of the reasons, by the way, why doing your own research can be kind of bullshit unless you know how to do research. Because this ain't research. This is an anecdote. And how exactly do you control for circumstances here? So what, a friend of a friend told you? How do you know? What does that even tell you? What? And now they're calling off the wedding because they got vaccinated? I think there might be more to this story. And even if there wasn't anything more, even if there wasn't some venereal disease involved or BDSM ball popping, you wouldn't know how to isolate those variables, would you? I mean, it's possible that people... In fact, it's not possible. It is statistically guaranteed that thousands of people who have gotten the vaccine have gotten very ill afterwards and blamed the vaccine, when in reality, they just got ill for other reasons. That has happened many times. Guaranteed, of the millions of people who have been vaccinated, that has probably happened tens or hundreds of thousands of times, that they got vaccinated and then got sick after, and it had nothing to do with the vaccination. They don't know how to control for those variables because they don't have access to complicated medical equipment and an understanding of statistical analysis, so they have no way of knowing. So they blame it on the vaccine. Anyway, all memes aside, and this is spectacularly funny, this is also really, really dangerous. Nicki Minaj is a huge public figure, and this kind of bullshit being signal posted from her is probably going to sway a lot of people's opinions on the matter. And there are probably now going to be tens of thousands of people who don't get the vaccine specifically because they don't want impotence and big balls, as if anyone wouldn't want those things. Her husband is a sex offender? Yeah, I've heard that, and I don't really care. You guys know that all celebrities are pieces of shit, right? The only people who make it to celebrity dumb are the most vicious, narcissistic pieces of shit in the universe, okay? I'm sorry, with very few exceptions, celebrities kind of have to be. It's like self-selection. You just, ha you just have to accept it, okay? You're a celebrity? Okay, hold on. I'm a niche internet micro-celebrity. That is not the same thing as being a celebrity. What about Keanu Reeves? I, I don't know. Isn't the whole thing that he's a vampire? Keanu Reeves has probably, like, killed a bunch of babies and drank their blood, like, to, 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 eat, to stay young? I don't know, right? That's the whole thing? 
Well, what have you done, Vush? I live stream, which is eternal punishment both to myself and the people who watch me. Yes, okay, Keanu Reeves, wholesome Big, Ch Big Chungus, wholesome 100, Skyrim. Thank you. Okay, yeah, anyway. Anyway, the shit that uh, Nicki Minaj is doing here is pretty goddamn, um, pretty goddamn dangerous. I wouldn't have any issue with her being severely canceled over it, which I guess she has been because this is a brutal ratio. Holy God. I actually do not know the last time I saw this many quote tweets. I don't know if I ever have. I'm sure I have before, but this is, I mean, that's a lot, you know, that's, there's a lot in there. Donald Trump probably, yeah, maybe some massive, 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 massive thing, but like, whew, that is so, so much. Anyway, Nicki Minaj decided to uh, tweet her way through the pain, which is, you know, always really, really, really admirable, really powerful stuff there. Nikki, I got the vaccine and haven't gotten the virus or anything, so that's a good thing. That's amazing, babe. This is the norm. Okay, so she's, you know, be being very responsible. Because I say what I want, when I want, how I want, puddin' pop. Internet doesn't scare me. What's the right, uh, Wojak for this one? There we go. So evocative. So descriptive. Tweeting through the pain. Keep it going, Nikki. Absolutely. Well said, babe. Glad you're okay. Woulda went nuts if something would have happened to my puddin' pop. Is this her boyfriend or husband or whatever? This person's name, Nikki's puddin'. Or is that just a different person? It's probably just a different person. I don't know. Uh, anyway, where was where was her using the racial slur? I'm waiting for the racial slur. Hold on. All right, what is this she retweeted? Love how Nikki is having this dialogue utilizing her platform. She's showing people it's safe and okay to have these conversations. Oh my God. To share our questions, experiences, concerns, reassurances, differences, etc. We can all benefit from this discussion. Stay safe, y'all. I this is this is basically like the pseudo SJW version of the free speech argument, you know, like the First Amendment. Like, oh, I'm glad we're all demonstrating our First Amendment rights here. Like, okay, yeah, we get it. You're legally allowed to say things. Thank very nice. Oh, uh, tell me she didn't delete the tweet. Did she? Did she delete the tweet? He'd she Oh, there we go. Let's go! Joanne Reed tweets, I mean, will anyone, anyone at all, ever fully trust the CDC again? And who on God's earth would trust a vaccine approved by the FDA? How do we get a vaccine distributed after this broken Trumpist nonsense has affected everything, even if Biden wins? The Joy Reed controversy from homophobic blog post to a hacking claim explained. A lying homophobic sea slur. I guess I can join in the reindeer, uh, reindeer games too, right? People can go on TV and lie on me. I can report on them too, right? blushing emoji doesn't have to be truths it can be half truths uncle tamiana jesus who on earth would trust the u.s fda guys this is actually incredibly incoherent does anyone understand the point that she's trying to make joanne reed was distrustful of the vaccine before but like now she's criticizing Nicki minaj so it's okay for Nicki minaj to <laughs> yeah it's pretty incoherent yeah eat shit you Megan McCain. I like that part. Oh yeah, Megan McCain blocked me. I forgot about that. I don't know why. I don't think I was ever that mean to her on Twitter. I'll take that dub. To be clear, Joanne Reed was also wrong to question the vaccine under Trump. Yeah, 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 for sure. My my uh, skepticism with the vaccine under Trump was not about the CDC or the FDA. It was about Trump hyper rushing out something without any proper testing. But the FDA gave it like its emergency approval, which was enough for me because the FDA is incentivized to get this pandemic over with itself. And, you know, so for me, it was more like the thing that I was worried about was that like Trump would force out these vaccines as quickly as possible, do everything he could to undermine like the scrutiny process because he wanted to be responsible for, you know, saving the country. It didn't turn out that way. And I think that I mean, even um, what's her name? Pelosi ignore, uh, acknowledged that. I think even Pelosi, Pelosi acknowledged that, I think. No, because look how fast the National News Network organized to blatantly lie on Nicki Minaj. This is real, the evidence is so evident of how, uh, how they are working overtime to sabotage Nicki. I fully understand why Nicki don't like to speak. They twist and lie about everything she say. They're being paid to do it. Well, technically this is true. It is journalists' job to cover stuff like this. So th they are technically paid to do it. That's that's not inaccurate. Um, yeah, but by who? Hmm, curious. No, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. I just don't think Nikki's being misrepresented here. Uh, she, she said some pretty dumb stuff. 